wangu ambapo ninastahili kumruhusu Yesu Kristo atawale ili ninapoonekana kule nje naonekana mtu ambaye anamwakilisha vizuri je ni kwa maneno pengine ni mdomo nina shida nikizungumza maneno ambayo yatoka pale hayapendezi so we must clothe ourselves with Jesus Christ praise be to god na pia katika kujivika ukisoma katika kitabu cha Wakolosai tatu, mstari wa 12 maandiko yazungumza mambo ambayo tunafaa kuwa nayo you know mavazi ama vazi ambalo linatosha yazungumza kuhusu upendo yazungumza kuhusu utulivu yazungumza kuhusu amani na mambo mengine ambayo yametajwa pale najua unaweza kusoma ukipata hiyo nafasi Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12 gives us a few things that we need to clothe ourselves with and those things that um, Colossians uh, ama wakolosai azungumza kuhusu mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo kupitia kwa uh, kwa kitabu hiki yanatukumbusha ya kwamba hao ni mambo ambayo yataonekana kule nje na yatafanya sisi tujulikane sisi ni akina nani praise be to god you know it's like clothing ourselves with the fruits of the holy spirit tukienda galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 tunajua kuna tunda la roho mtakatifu na kwa sababu tumesema sisi ni hekaru la bwana roho mtakatifu yu ndani yetu lazima basi tunda la roho mtakatifu pia lionekane katika maisha yetu kama ni upendo lazima tuwapende wale wengine tuwapende watu wa jamii zetu tuwapende wanao tupenda na wanao tuchukia kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo tumeitwa katika maisha uto, ya utofauti praise be to god maisha ya utakatifu itahitaji sisi tuweze kuiga mfano wake kristo so you must clothe yourself finally conduct yourself tell your neighbor conduct yourself Eh, conducting yourself ukienda katika kitabu cha first peter chapter 1 verse 14 and 15 maandiko inasema kwa sababu Mungu ambaye amewaita ni mtakatifu nani kwa sababu amewaita katika maisha ya utakatifu lazima basi muwe na tabia na mienendo ya aina fulani praise be to god ukienda katika kitabu cha uh, colossians chapter 4 and verse 5 It also talks of how we need to conduct ourselves. Actually nasema ya kwamba katika maisha yetu lazima tuishi kwa hekima. Conduct yourself in wisdom. Praise be to God. Hekima ni ya maana. Na unajua pia Yesu Kristo anapowafunza uh, watu wake na Mungu anapotunenea hasa katika kitabu cha Yakobo, maandiko inatukumbusha yeyote ambaye hana hekima basi ya muombe Mungu naye ni mwaminifu atampa hekima. Hekima ndiyo inatusaidia kufanya uamuzi. Na uamuzi ambao umeufanya unakuwa ni uamuzi ambao utaufurahia. Yeah, you know the decisions we make sometimes in life and you live to ask yourself why did I even ever make this decision? Praise be to God. For example for the young people, uh, kufanya uamuzi wa kupata mke ama mme unahitaji hekima itokayo kwa Mungu so that you know who is it that God has chosen for you. Praise be to God. Otherwise you might choose and choose wrongly. Pia ni hekima ambayo Mungu hutupatia ambao utusaidia kujua jinsi tutakavyonena wakati wa kuzungumza wakati wa kunyamaza it's only god's wisdom that helps us to know how to make how to know how to respond in whatever situation praise be to god na pia ukisoma katika kitabu cha wafilipi moja mstari wa 27 inasema whatever happens conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of jesus christ praise be to god katika hali yoyote ile jambo lolote litakalo tendeka uhakikisha ya kwamba maisha yako jinsi utakavyojibeba jinsi utakavyofanya jinsi utakavyoishi yalingane na neno lake Mungu praise be to god so that wherever you will be people can be able to see Jesus Christ in your life so sisi ambao tunasherekea leo ya kwamba pazia limepasuka na tukasema kupitia kwa kupazuka uh, kwa pazia hili mambo matano ambayo tumeyataja yametendeka tukasema ya kwamba tumepatiwa nafasi ya kumkaribia Mungu 24/7 pia tukasema Mungu husikia kilio cha watu wake kwa sababu alisikia kilio cha Yesu Kristo mwanawe. Tukasema pia tumepata kuhani mkuu ambaye hawezi kulinganishwa na kuhani wengine wowote. Na pia tukasema uwepo wa Mungu ukila mahali lakini zaidi ya yote huo uwepo wa Mungu undani yetu. We are carriers of the presence of God. So as a result, three things that we need to do 
cast your burden to the Lord. Number two, clothe yourselves. 